Hey guys, so, well today it is Monday, August 8th, 2016, and it's about just after 11 o'clock in the morning, and it's already hot out here. 90 degrees, the heat index it feels like it's 97, so it's pretty hot. So I'm over here at my grandparents' house on my mother's side of the family. And I'm over here to actually cut the grass and I'm going to do a lawn cutting video. It's been at least three years since I have did a lawn cutting video from over here. I thought I'd actually show y'all something here. My grandparents got a new carport. And there's still the, uh, the existing one right there. Because they usually park their other car from right here. There's a cicada killer wasp. My grandparents really hate those things because with all these little holes they dug. Yeah, so this is really nice. And so, yeah. So it's been two weeks since the grass was last cut over here. So. Some areas look overgrown, and here in the backyard, it definitely does look burnt. And let me go out front and open the gate. Yeah, of course the grass here in the front yard, it's pretty tall too, so this would make an excellent lawn cutting video. And so I thought that for this lawn cutting video, of course we'll uh, use the, uh, the MTD Husky lawn mower just to use it on doing a little bit of mowing just do like the first uh, passes and as well as in some areas like from over here and also from out in front of the the uh, curb out front so use this on doing a little bit of mowing and also as well as on this and then we'll do most of the mowing with the uh, the uh, the new John Deere D130 lawn tractor that my grandfather bought about two or three months ago and right now the tractor currently has four hours on it and also if I can I'll do a little quick edging video with this uh, uh, 1971 Trimall with a two horse Briggs and Stratton engine. I'm not sure if, if it will start though, it's been about maybe three months since I last used it. There is a little bit of gas in it but there's not much. I'll see if I can do some edging with it even though considering it does have a worn out blade. And if necessary. I'll do some of the trimming with the Works GT 2 into one trimmer slash edger. I'll try this, uh, the battery that's in it now. I do got this other battery charging, which is basically it's for the blower, in case if that battery goes dead. And then for the blowing, use the PB500T that's sitting here in my truck. I will do the majority of the trimming and edging with the PAS 230. And so I guess that without further ado, we'll get started here. Okay, so there's not much gas in it. I am running true fuel in this machine. So I did uh, pretty much all the edging with the uh, PAS 230. 
only except I left this little spot right here so I figure I'll use this just on this one spot right here so first let's see if whether or not that this thing will start all right making sure y'all can see that yeah perfect about this come on all right we got some uh, starter problems here all right take two oh she fired Cool. Started up a lot easier than I thought, despite that having a little bit of recoil issues. I think that she ran out of gas. Well, there's just barely some gas, but it looks like just not enough for uh, for the carburetor to be able to suck it all the way down. Oh well. Even with a worn out blade, Raise that back up. You know, despite with a worn out blade and all, still does a good job on cutting it. So, once again, that's the uh, 1971 Tremol uh, walk behind edger with the two horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. So, yep. Whenever I get the time, I'll get a new blade for it. And as well as top her off with more gas. Alright, so now for the trimming. Alright, so here is the Works GT 2 in a 1 uh, trimmer slash edger. My grandparents bought this back in 2009, so they've had it for 7 years. This handle can also twist. <clears throat> to make it convert into an edger. You can also tilt this thing too, either up or down. So however you would want it. And this handle here is also adjustable as well. And we'll see how this thing works. I actually had to change the battery on it because the battery that was just on it was dead. So the battery, so I put the battery that's from the blower that's on it now. 
All right, let me uh, move those uh, down spouts. All right, cool. All right, let's do the trimming. Still does a fantastic job uh, on cutting. Okay. Let me see how well that'll work. Oh yeah. Alright, I think this will probably be it for the trimming because the, this battery here sounds like it's getting ready to die so I'll just finish the rest with the PAS 230 and then uh, we'll get the lawnmower ready. And here is the lawnmower. So it's a 2003 Husky uh, 22 inch cut with front wheel drive self propelled. It has a 5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton quantum engine. The lawnmower is made by MTD. And with the name Husky, this comes from a tractor supply. That's where these come from. Alright, so uh, let's start it up. And so basically, use the mower basically on mowing this strip right here and it's also as well as like these do the corners right here because the lawn tractor tends to do some scalping on them all right so let's see how this one starts
All right, cool. So now the cutting portion is done with the lawnmower. So now for the cutting portion with the lawn tractor.